Red Sox closer was not who we thought he would be last year, but Craig Kimbrell is back in Red Sox camp. We saw him throw his first bullpen session today. I'm Jason Mastronato, Steve Buckley. Uh, we can't take anything from these early bullpen sessions, but I, what I do want to know is, is this a big spring for this guy? Does he have something to prove this year? The answer is yes. I mean, it, it, it goes to Dennis Eckersley and Mo Rivera, two of the greatest closers we've seen. Is he that? No. Is it fair to compare him with those guys? No. Absolutely not. Unfair. But... I asked this question to all Red Sox fans. When you saw him come into a game in 2016, did you feel comfortable? Did you sit back in your chair and say, oh, wow, this game's over? And I think for a lot of Sox fans, the answer was mm, maybe not so much. How did you feel I, I, about that? For any Sox, I mean, okay. I, I, listen, the guy didn't have a bad year. I'm not going to sit here and say he oh, had a horrible year. It was a fine year. I think he still struck out a lot of guys. He made the all-star team, which he actually disagreed with. So what is it with with Kimbrell? It wasn't velocity. He had a very good velocity last year. That He doesn't think it was a knee injury, neither does Farrell. Um, it's just throwing strikes. That's throwing it. strikes. So yep. they got to figure out how he can throw strikes consistently. He's obviously the most important piece of the Red Sox bullpen this year. I think the bullpen's going to be very good, as we've talked about. Um, what was your impression? What was your takeaway from Red Sox camp today? Bogarts. Uh, had an interesting discussion with him. He, he, he is a very gracious uh, player, talks to the media, as you know, quite often. And he answered all the usual questions about the World Baseball Classic and uh, expectations for this year and how last season ended and so forth. And he answered all those questions quite eloquently. Yeah. Oh, the one thing he didn't touch on, which is a, a bit of an obsession of mine, as you, you know, is his uh, this thing about sliding head first <laughs> into first, first base, which drives me crazy. And I asked him about it alone, and he says he intends to do that again this year, which really surprised me. He said, I don't want to, but it, it is beyond me sometimes, and it's going to happen, and, and so forth and so on, and it's in my head. And then I talked to John Farrell alone, and, and he said that uh, they're going to continue to monitor that and work with him on Farrell it. Farrell doesn't like it. And Farrell doesn't like no. it, but he also, uh, much to my surprise, said, but we also recognize it's part of his DNA and it's instinctual mm. and so forth. So, uh, again, I'm not saying it's the end of the world here, but he's a, a brilliantly talented 24-year-old baseball player, still on the rise, in my opinion. And what a shame it would be if he if you lost him for six right. to eight weeks because of a jammed shoulder, a broken thing, yeah. a, a fractured elbow or something. And uh, you don't gain anything uh, by sliding head first. Right. The you scientists can, have proved it. Yeah, you, you are allowed to overrun the bag, as you learn in Little League, uh, but you can't overrun second or third, which is why we have the pop-up slide. Yeah, before I get to my just my take on that real yeah. quick, let him play. I okay. know you hate it. I, I do I just, hate it. The guy plays so loose. Let him play loose. I want. I like that he plays you loose. You can't I think play it's loose in a game. cast. Yeah, you're right. My <laughs> quickly, my takeaway from today was Eduardo Rodriguez threw his first bullpen session since having a knee injury six weeks ago in winter ball, and actually threw pretty hard. I mean, I, I didn't have a radar gun, but he was letting it rip. I expected him to take it really slow. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a good sign. Drew Pomerantz played catch. Looks really tentative. Stephen Wright, we're still not sure where he is with the, with the shoulder. So Eduardo a little bit ahead of that race, and we'll monitor that going forward.